Let's load this. It is time. Let's do this. Load. So you see, it just got rid of three characters that were on the main menu. We only have two left because we completed those three. So we'll do, we're just doing them left to right. So the next one is Nimdok. Nimdok, you are kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully yet, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue your eminent scientific research. This compound looks familiar. Oh no. But why would Arm bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? This place doesn't look good. <laughs> this looks like something very familiar, actually, from what we know in history. Yes, Krim, 100%. The psychological games that get under your skin make you think and stick with you. Versus, like, I mean, the jump scare games and movies are fun, too, but it's kind of like a one and done. You often kind of, like, forget about it afterwards. Let's talk to this prisoner right here. Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? So Nimdok, our character, I guess he's completely lost his memory. So we're trying to learn what exactly happened, which is kind of new. Most of the other characters, I guess they've all had some, a bit of like hidden pasts, but this guy seems to not remember anything about who he is or what he's done. And Krem, you have to buy books for your parents so they can gift them to me on Christmas because they don't know how to order books online. <laughs> That's so funny, Krem. Like, let me order my own Christmas presents. Oh man, Hellblade was an experience, Sheely. I kind of want to try that in VR sometime. I bet that would be really terrifying. You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. Whoa, our experiments. Experiments? I know nothing of experiments. Your sense of humor is as sick as your methods, Doctor. How can you act so innocent after having maimed or killed hundreds since the name of science? So it looks like we're in some kind of prison. Everybody kind of has a German accent. You see where this is going. You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous. There's no need to distance yourself from me. I was once your friend, now I am your enemy. That's sad. Why would I bother to have you imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers, but I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. And we are here to find a lost tribe, is what Am told us. Do you know of the lost tribe? I must find it. Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? <laughs> oh no. You know what might help, Sheely, is um, to finish Hellblade if you don't play with headphones, which makes it way creepier, and maybe turn down some of the sound effects that might make it a bit easier. Uh-oh. Are we having problems streaming, or is it just me? It looks like on my stream information, it was like in the red, but let me know if you have any problems with buffering or anything. It is such a good thing. I know nothing of what you talk about. This conversation is over. It looks like the connection's green again. Hopefully it was just for that moment. All right, let's check out this guard. It was buffering for a while. I don't know what happened. It like, what, what's weird is usually when we have connection problems, the, the uh, data rate drops really low. But on my stream information, it went, like, really high. Like, wh what are you doing, Twitch? This guard is the picture of good health. This gun is quite impressive, too. This gun... This gun... Oh, can I not talk to him? You must let me go. leave. I have urgent business elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Dr. Mengele's orders. 
Is it all working for you guys now? It looks like it's green on my side. Maybe it was just like a small hiccup. Hopefully it doesn't keep going. You get only one warning, Doctor. Dr. Mengele's orders cannot be disobeyed. Oh, Go to surgery at once. If I ask him again, he might get me killed. <laughs> Apparently, this is the only access to the dirt road. Yeah, it looked like a hiccup on my side, I think. Okay, so we have a hospital and then this door right here. I'll check this door first. This door is the most solid structure in the compound. It is constructed of iron. I cannot open it. The door must be locked. Okay, so we don't go here yet. It is working out? Okay, good. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all, this may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. It's a no. Let us talk about this research. We will have time for that after the surgery. Meet me at the complex later. I love that when somebody doesn't know what you're talking about, but they try to fake it. <laughs> you know, like, oh yeah, the research. Could you remind me again what we're doing today? <laughs> he has no idea. And we have this 1945 poster. So yeah, you know what, where we're at right now. A youth with 1945 stamped beneath. There is something familiar about this. What is that noise though? Is that the fan up here? <laughs> it sounds really loud. Okay, nothing else here to look at. I think we just go this way. Finally, Doctor. Everyone's waiting on your expertise. Oh no. Got a scalpel, ether, the anesthesiast, and a child. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> Before something awful happens. Okay, I guess we'll talk to him first. What am I to do? Ah, you are testing me because I'm new here. Yeah, that's Today's it. Today's procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Can you remove a section of spinal cord without, like, totally paralyzing somebody? What is the purpose of such a procedure? You and Dr. Mengel will process the spinal fluid from this and the other adolescent subjects. The fluid will then be used to formulate the cell. So we're trying to extract something from this kid. What is the nature of this serum? I cannot reveal sensitive regime secrets in such a public setting. You need not worry, Doctor. I remember my military training as well as my medical knowledge. So... That's classified, is what I just heard. Uh, essentially Krim. I think 100% that's what's gonna happen. What is Dr. Mengele's position? Dr. Mengele is the master surgeon of this facility and one of the regime's finest minds. You are fortunate to be his associate. <laughs> Sheely, now when you say creepers, do you mean creepers like those green guys that explode? Or do you mean creepers as in just weirdos online? <laughs> what is your function? I will be administering ether to the subject throughout this procedure. We would not want this little maggot to stir and ruin your handiwork. So, just to keep him completely asleep. I will begin the procedure momentarily. It will be an honor to work under you, Dr. Nimdok. Okay. There's a scalpel. Let's check out this kid first. He is not conscious. Do we wake him up? He is not conscious. Can we push him awake? Oh, I don't think I can push him. Everyone is waiting for me to do something. <laughs> As we just stand here awkwardly. <laughs> we have a whole audience. Like me on Twitch. Let's see, you're hoping that there's none of the latter considering I'm playing. Oh, that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be a big problem. I assumed it was those kind of creepers, but it's just kind of funny reading that sentence, you know? It has multiple meanings with an online game. So I guess we grab the scalpel? 
this scalpel is coated with dried blood, I doubt that anyone has bothered to sterilize it. How about we don't cut open this kid? Is that an option? Let's take the scalpel. Oh yeah, look, it still has blood on it. This scalpel is... We take the ether. I'm sorry, Doctor. The ether is necessary for the surgery. Okay, we can't take the ether. Is there anything else around here we can do? Oh, and there's an area back here called recovery. Let's check out here. This must be the recovery room. Oh dear. Here's the previous people we uh, experimented on, I guess. This patient has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. That's messed up. Can you talk to him? Nope. This patient will never re Will never recover. It is difficult to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. Yeah, whatever serum you're getting out of that kid's spine is not going to be worth him being, you know, a vegetable the rest of his life. There is heat coming out of this vent. Hmm. I wonder if we can use our scalpel and open the vent. I do not know what to do with this. No, you can't use it as a screwdriver. Um... Okay, I'm gonna try to talk to this guy again and say, no, we don't want to do that surgery. I cannot carry out this procedure. I can see that you don't look well, Doctor. If necessary, Dr. Mangle can take over for you. Oh god, that'll be worse. Now somebody else is gonna do it too. Um... Continue your research. The extinction of the Lost Tribe is near at hand. The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. So they're not calling it exactly as it is, but they talk about the Lost Tribe and extinguishing them. Kind of a, you know, analogy to like the Jewish people during the Holocaust, obviously. <laughs> Krim, I can be your creeper. Unless. <laughs> I love that. Okay, there's no other way to go in here. Let's go back outside. Can we use the scalpel to, like, back into this door? This is no good. The lock is too strong. But look, there's somebody new over here. Somebody's trying to climb the fence. How could you so foolishly be caught in the fires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. Fox. Why do you risk escaping in such poor physical condition? That timing was hardly of my own choosing. I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. You know, that's one thing I really feel for, like, just basically any women on the internet, but especially, you know, streamers and people that present themselves online is they get so many creepers and it's so bad and ridiculous i'm very lucky being a guy i've gotten very little to none of that so knock on wood but it hasn't really happened for what for you being given the privilege to volunteer Volunteer. experimentations they say extinction is more like it surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe I mean, we have, like, amnesia. We don't know anything. Um, so we can either do one of three things. We can call a guard. That's kind of mean. We can summon one of the doctors, which you would think that's the good option because a doctor will help him, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe they'll just do experiments on him. Or we can just say there's nothing I can do for you. I would think probably summoning one of the doctors might be the safest. None of them seem like the best answer, but we'll try that. I will summon one of the doctors. No, I'm better off here than under the knives of you butchers. Yeah, see, that didn't seem like a great option either. I don't want to call the guard on them. They might just shoot him. There is nothing I can do for you. You can at least help me end my misery. 
That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. I want to try to not let him die, but maybe we are supposed to kill this guy. Is that the good thing? Is like just, you know, a misery kill? I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your Zions could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. <laughs> we really are some piece of work, aren't we? What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. So what year is it? Because they talked about, you know, the end of the war, and that's when World War II ended, right? So I wonder if that is the current year where we're at in this scenario. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. The scalpel is coated. I don't know if I can use the scalpel on anything here. There's no, like, use on fence. You could use it on the victim, but that would just, like, straight up kill him. I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> yeah, right? Sounds great, right, Krim? A mercy kill. Yeah, I want to try talking to the guard again. I'm scared he's going to shoot me. This guard is the... His gun is... You have had your warning, Doctor. The regime does not tolerate disobedience. You are to die in the manner of all of the regime's oh enemies. Oh, God. Yep. And we're dead. <laughs> Another death. I had to test it out. Disappointed in you. You still have five. much to remember. Five deaths. Much more pain to feel, much to relive, much more to answer for. Yes, return to the research camp later when you're ready to search for the lost tribe again. I've always Who liked that you? scene. She'll go next. Where like you're inside the computer and you can see like electrons moving around, like the computer working. Let's go ahead and load that last save. All that we really did was we took the scalpel. I think we're gonna have to perform surgery. This must be I'll just fly through this real quick. This we looked at all these people. This None of them can recover. We saw yeah. the vent, but we can't do anything with it. And you can tell him... Oh, I haven't even gone through all these options yet. What? Uh, uh, today? What? You? It's gonna skip through all this text. What? I can't... You need... What? I you... What? I... <laughs> Every line starts with... What? <laughs> What? I will. It. I can. I can. If necessary. Okay, so we said we are not going to do it, but then he's going to get someone else to do it. Continue your research. The extinction of the lost tribe is near at hand. The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. And I'm still going to go ahead and talk to that guy on the fence. How could I? I for what? Sure. I want to try saying I will call the guard just to see how that one turns out. I will call the guard. Why? So the guard can taunt me as I die a slow death? I guess I'm not, ne neither one of these are a good option. I will summon one of the doctors. No. I'm better off here than under the knives of you butchers. There's nothing you can do to help this poor guy. There is nothing I can <laughs> do for you. Exactly. You can at least help me end my misery. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. We're almost caught up to where we were. I'll save it again, just in case. What is... I... You want... Okay, let's go ahead and save over that. Hmm, so do we try to perform surgery, or do I try to mercy kill this guy? I don't think we have, like, a way to not do one of these things. I think we've, like, tried everything else. 
Oh, and your sister handed you white chocolate pretzel M&Ms? I've never even heard of those before. Yes, they're snowballs. Now, snowballs, I was going to say, isn't that a different kind of candy? But I think I'm thinking of snow caps. I think that's another kind of candy. Murder. Murder is always the answer. Tashe, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Okay. I will begin the procedure momentarily. It will be an honor to work under you, Dr. Nimdok. You know, since we just saved it, let's try um, killing this guy. <laughs> See what happens. Guards, come here quickly. Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk. Gotcha. I must leave before the guards apprehend me. Oh, let's take this. We take the kid? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, we need to use the there vent. There is heat coming out of this vent. Crap, where do I go? This patient, he is not conscious. Oh, can we like use the ether and look like we are a patient or something? They're going to know who we are though, right? This looks like it is made of paper, but even that is more than I deserve to eat. Wait, I thought I hit swallow ether. This looks... Hmm. Can I use ether on yourself? I do not know what to do with these. Oh, that would be interesting. What if you could put ether in the vents and it like spreads it throughout the place and knocks everyone out? There is an empty bed here, but I can't seem to do anything. This there. patient. He is not conscious. He is. You know, one thing I did forget to look at is our little book here. This kind of gives you usually a little bit of a backstory of the character. Historical data. In a plan to form a master race that would rule the world, the Nazis confined Jews in concentration camps and killed them in large numbers. Go. Mm, I'm gonna try pushing the vent. Hey, there we go. You have to use, that's like the first time I've used that verb. There is a passage here. Use it. I smell burnt flesh. But this is obviously not a kitchen. Okay, since we did that, we're gonna do a quick save here. So what's new with you, Taji? How you doing, dude? A gold watch. I am surprised its owner was able to keep it long enough to reach this place. We should probably grab that. Yoink. And some pliers. These pliers must be used for extracting gold fillings and teeth from the corpses. Anything to just get whatever you can, like recycling in a disturbing way. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Can we take the papers? It would be suicide to be caught with such sensitive records. Oh, I totally know that, Tajay. For, for me, it's been a very different week because we're celebrating Andy's birthday this weekend, so we've been kind of getting things ready for that. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Krem, I agree with Tajay. And that's exactly what we did. We murdered, but we murdered one of the bad guys, which I love. I guess we could have gone a completely different route and killed the prisoners, killed a kid on the table. Um, see, I, th I think I tried taking them. What, can we use them? According... And we can just look at them. Oh, there's controls over here. This lever must be used for setting the oven temperature. Okay, before we burn anything, let's look in these ovens. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. Can we use them? These ovens are more mon- I have not felt such heat since I lived in the Brazilian rainforest. Okay, we can open that. Um, can I use the ether in it? I do not. All right, well, let's try turning this on real quick, see what this does. 
Okay, so everything's on right now. Maybe we have to turn it. Oh no, it was off before, wasn't These it? These ovens are. I have not failed. Oh, it automatically turns off. I think. I have not failed. No, I think he just closes it automatically. I guess I can't really use anything there. Oh crap, this takes me outside. I don't think I want to be here. There we go. Okay, what could we do in here? We have ovens, ether, a watch, and pliers. We need to like MacGyver or something, don't we? And three more days until Brilliant Diamond releases. And that's about the most exciting thing happening right now. <laughs> Wait, what's Brilliant Diamond? I don't think I've heard of that. See, right now it seems like it's off. But if I open this... I have not felt such heat since I lived in the Brazilian range. Sounds like it's on. So if I hit the switch again... Now is it off? Now it's on. I have not felt such heat since I lived in the Brazilian rainforest. He seems to have the same reaction whether the ovens are on or off, I guess. You had a copy for $37. Is this a new game or something? I don't I can't believe I don't know what this is. Oh, that sounds delicious, Tajay. Nice. That's a good way to start off the week. Um, so I'm going to go back to use the ether with the oven. I do not know what to do with these. I guess I'll just try to, like, do anything. Oh, it's a remake of Pokemon. Is this on the Switch? I do not know that. I Let's try using the pliers on the watch. I do not know. I see now I'm just starting to smash things together and hope something happens. So when did Diamond and Pearl come out? Like I'm not super familiar with the Pokemon timeline. Was that like on the DS or Game Boy Advance maybe? Let's go back here for a second. Oh, the kid's here. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. He sounds an awful like the kid in uh, Benny's chapter, doesn't he? <laughs> With like a slight German accent. It might be the same kid. So it's like fire red, leaf green, where he makes the original Pokemon. Oh, right on. And they were DS games. Okay, nice. And being the original, is it going to add anything or is it going to like be very faithful to the classics? Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. What are you talking about? I'm being nice to you is it because I'm old. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. Try to be better. <laughs> Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. You and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. Oh, that's cool. I, I think most remakes, honestly, should try to do some kind of like quality of life improvements because a lot of those old games can be a little bit hard to go back to because of, you know, missing certain features you've become accustomed to. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will fail, no matter how many of us you cut apart. Why do you say that the regime will fail? The Golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The golem, golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Yeah, get some rest, kid. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. Golem, I don't know what he's talking about. Let's do a new save real quick. 
Our character looked really happy after that. I, I think we just accomplished something. Um, can we give the kid anything? Maybe we can give him the watch. I should keep this. It may prove useful. We're going to need that for something else. And you got the physical copy of Brilliant Diamond for cheap, uh, while the digital is like 60. That is one nice thing for consoles, Krim, especially that digital games, you're mostly just tied to buying it from the company directly. So they, they control the price. But with physical games, with so many different retailers, there's a lot of options and sales and stuff, which is my favorite thing about Steam, even though it's digital, Tons of companies can sell their own keys, and, you know, there's deals all the time that way. Can I go back this way? Oh, there's somebody else here now. What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? He just lost his eyes? Disconnect the wires. Why are your optic nerves wired to the eyeballs in the jar? Disconnect the wires. Wait, so his eyes were removed and they have like cords going from his eye sockets where the eyeballs are now to try to like make it so he can see? Oh. Who did this to you? He has great surgical skill. Please disconnect the wires. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let me take a look at this first though. Look at the jar. Incredible! A wire connects this patient's optic nerve to a jar containing two human eyes. Actually, that's one of the big reasons why I've gone with physical on um, the Switch. Partly because I haven't really trusted Nintendo very well with online. Because they're always like, you know, generations behind their online stuff. And I'm like, ooh, if I buy these digital... Are they going to work on the next thing or whatever is after the Switch sort of thing? So I've actually been getting all my games physical. And it is nice not needing to have storage. But there is the inconvenience of having to deal with cartridges. So there's that too. Okay, so we should use... Click on that. I don't see a wire. Can I use that directly? No. Oh, I have to use the pliers, right? So we'll use pliers with... Patient? I think that's what we do. I do not know what to do with these. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that would work. I do not. But that's not how we do it. Oh, you have a 128 gig micro SD. Sweet. I wonder what the biggest Switch game is out there. I know some. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series games are like 200 gigs if you look at Call of Duty and stuff, but I'm not sure what the biggest Switch game is. You know what? Maybe we need to give him Ether first. What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? So let's try to use Ether on him. This should ease your suffering. The things I see now. Oh, there we go. Trinity of three beasts. One like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in numbers. A lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon. Hmm. They sleep in darkness, unseen by the beasts. Such a vision. So tiring, I have to rest. They're tribe sleeping on the moon, man. What kind of drugs are you on? Oh wait, we just gave you ether. <laughs> so I'm guessing we can't talk to him anymore. He is not conscious. So can we do anything with the uh, jar? Incredible. A wire connects this patient's optic nerve to a jar containing two human eyes. What is that uh, legend of... Is that Arceus? I've never heard of that one either. We don't have a scalpel anymore, so I think we can only use the uh, pliers. I don't know. He doesn't want to disconnect him, though. Okay. Continue your research. The extinction of the Lost Tribe is near at hand. The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. 
enemies. Well, we're kind of helping people as much as we can as we go from place to place. <laughs> I don't know how much we're really helping them, but... Oh! Wait, there's like two Pokemon games coming out. <laughs> Never mind. So there's a remake of the original, and then Legend of Arceus is another Pokemon game? So what would that make it? Four or five Pokemon games we've had on the Switch so far? They're really pumping them out. That's cool. You know, before Nintendo was like split between their console games and their mobile games. And the mobile games got the majority of the Pokemon stuff. But now that it's all just Switch, like you're getting everything in one place, which I think is fantastic. I'm just going to test out. Can we I do not use anything with this kid? I do No. There is a path. And I still don't know what to do in here with the ovens. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. This one looks like it's open. So is that Legends of Arceus going to be more like, um, what was it? The shield and sword games? Or is it going to be a different style anyway? There was that person on the fence, Hussey, but we might have to kill him. I was trying to I have not avoid killing him. That might be the right thing to do, unfortunately. There is nothing I can do for you. You can at least help. That would give you. That's pretty cool. They're trying something totally new. I like that. Okay, well, let's do another save, and we'll see if... We actually do have to stab... Oh, I don't even have a scalpel anymore. Oh, but now that we have pliers, can we cut them out of the wires to help them out? That's way better than what I was thinking before. Um, I can't click on wires. I guess we just use it on the victim. Oh, that hurts. Is that not the correct thing to do? Oh, give. <laughs> Let's try to give it to him. If we give the pliers to this I guy. I should keep this. No? It may prove useful. All right. Um, can we use ether on him if he's in pain to help him out? Oh, that feels much better. There we go. Now let's try using the pliers to get him out. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Nice. I Listen, see I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Whoa. He is free, but he has lost consciousness. Waken the sleeper, set him free, and give him a kiss? <laughs> Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. Just gotta remember, we can't talk to that guard. He will kill us. I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? Oh, sweet. The engraving says time is truth. And since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. <laughs> That's great. What a ballsy prisoner. She's like, I'm going to steal something from the Germans who have me, you know, in a concentration camp and could kill me at any moment. That dude's pretty brave. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. Oh, is that going to be a cloud game? You know, I haven't tried cloud gaming in a while. I kind of want to try it now that I think you could do cloud gaming like Xbox games on like your PC just to test it out with lag and everything wired. I wonder how good it is. He is not conscious. Hmm. So what could it have been talking about the sleeping one? This patient will never recover. This patient... 
It is difficult to see what... It's none of these people, I don't think. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. Get this kid some pants. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. Okay, so we're supposed to do something to this guy, right? I can't wake him up. He is... Yeah, I don't think any of the other uh, verbs work on this guy to, like, wake him up or something. So maybe that's not the sleeper they're talking about. I do not know what to do with this. Yeah, you know, I would imagine Switch Cloud games are probably really bad unless you have it docked and wired. Because I've heard that the Switch is like wireless connection. Sorry, that the Switch is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Switch is wireless. It's not that great compared to a lot of other uh, designs. A youth. There is something familiar about this. Wonder if I'm supposed to take this poster or something. I cannot take this down. It is fastened too securely. Well, if it's fastened, can we use our pliers to take it down? I cannot take this. No. I would only rip it. I. Hmm. I can. Okay, no, I don't think there's anything to do with that. You know, they're, they're, they keep mentioning that poster. Maybe you think there's something to do with that. He is not conscious. Can't talk to that guy anymore. Never forgets the year 1945, Nimdok. I am. You want to make a. And then the 1945 thing, this that kind of reminds me of that. Must be used for what if we give that guy the pliers? Would um, he be able to then get out? Because we want to help him? Oh no, I don't think I can even give him the pliers if I wanted to. Oh, no, we did. Yeah, you should be able to escape with this. There we go. Pliers for cutting the wires? Yes, I think this would make escape possible. But don't think that one good deed will make up for all those poor innocents you butchered. Sweet, okay. That was a, a good thing to do, I believe. Let's go ahead and save it. Whenever you get that little tune, you did something good. Hopefully we didn't break the game. You know, I was so excited for that Steam Deck to come out this year. Although my pre-order always said, I think it said quarter one 2022. Now it's quarter two 2022 because all the Steam Decks got delayed, unfortunately. Okay, so we helped him out. I wonder what else we need to do here. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the other. You know, Taji, when I heard about a p potential new switch, I didn't think it was going to happen because even if they could try to make it, um, they're still going to be able to sell more switches than they could, like Switch 2s or whatever they would call the successor because of the chip shortage. Whereas with the regular switches, you know, they probably have enough in stock and in the pipeline. It just makes sense to keep selling those. And then as production companies ramp up stock and better production, then potentially start working on a Switch 2. I'm sure it's like way in the plans and already developed, but they can't really mass produce it the way they need to right now. Oh, it, aren't you in the 10,000s, Hasifa? You should be getting yours really soon, right? Get people. There is a I'm still like way behind in my orders. I think I'm in the 12,000 range. So maybe early next year, if I'm lucky, Hasifa. Okay, so I think we're missing something here. But at the same time, I have no more inventory items. So I don't know what the deal is with this. These ovens are more mon- These- 
You can't use any of those. You can only use this oven right here. I have not and he only opens it for a second. And if I hit this control, and then I come over here and use it again, I have not felt it's exactly the same. And there's still one more thing we can get before advancing. I wonder what I missed. Why does it say walk to the watch? We already picked up the watch. A gold watch. Uh I think we found another bug. <laughs> Take the watch. Take the pliers. Okay, this isn't right. I don't think we're supposed to be able to grab a duplicate copy of these items. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not those, Hasiba, but like, I gave those items away. They shouldn't exist. Maybe we're supposed to be able to get them multiple times? I don't know. That seems like a bug to me. I couldn't see them on the screen, but it, it showed it in the text at the bottom. So I thought, yeah, grab it. Okay, well, let's look around a little bit more. Yes, yeah, someone stole them back, right? We'll 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 try to reason with the game, give it a, a you know an excuse as to why that just happened. And Sheely, the next switch might just be a new dock with a new motherboard and eGPU. Now, if it could have that kind of thing, Sheely, that would make sense. Like, I don't know if the USB C connection's powerful enough on that to like transfer that amount of video, but like with laptops, they have laptops that you can get like an external GPU. So you could have a crappy laptop, but plug in a separate GPU and get great graphics on your computer. So not, not totally out of the realm of possibility. But honestly, with a much, much, much more powerful switch later on, you'd probably hope for better than 720p potentially. Okay, let's see. Now I just have to kind of scan the areas, I think, to make sure we haven't missed anything. We talked to our buddy again. I thought he was going to escape. Never forgets the year 19. And he just says, never forget the year. I seem to. What is engraved on this watch? We're going to give him another watch. The engraving. Hopefully, we don't break the game doing this. I uh... don't think the end is near for the regime. And when that time comes, we will hunt you down like dogs. That is awesome. Wait, do you have that, Sheely, or is there something that you can get? Because, yeah, you can make a crappy laptop super powerful with that. Continue your research. The regime shall... Oh, and you tried getting that split pro controller for the Switch, that thing that I just got Andy, Hasifa, but it was out of stock. And you'll get a hold of one when they come back. I was able to find one locally at my Best Buy. I didn't look at Amazon at the time because I wanted it quicker than that. But uh, although Amazon shipping times have dropped tremendously, they were like two weeks, like a week ago. And now Amazon shipping times have dropped back down to like two days, which is nice. I guess they've gotten some of their stock back under control. Is there any other items I'm missing here? Just kind of pixel scanning a little bit. I still see this 1945 poster. I, I already tried using the pliers here. I cannot. Fasten too securely. I would all. This looks like it is made of paper, but even that is more than I deserve to <laughs> eat. Can't eat the poster. A youth. There is some. So why is there something familiar about this? Well, there is that um, that like an A or something in the background. We see that symbol all over the place. Oh, that's awesome, Rainbow. It's going a lot quicker for you, too, with Amazon. Nice. <laughs> Sheely, the video cards are so, so expensive, aren't they? Let me do one more scan, Hasifa, just to see if I see anything obvious, and then I think I might... I might ask for a lifeline. I'm surprised there was nothing over here in this big drawer thing. We've got the pliers. There's no second phantom pliers I can pick up. He is not conscious. 
You know, now that he's completely unconscious, I want to try using the pliers again real quick. I do not know what to do with these. He asked you to disconnect his eyes. You do that, Mimdoc. Come on. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, can we take the jar? Oh, there we go. Okay. These eyes seem perfectly preserved. Almost alive. Well, we got that much. Okay, we got a new item. That might have been it. I know simple, simple problems call for simple solutions, Rainbow. I'm notorious for running into a puzzle and way overthinking it and trying all these complex things that are just way harder than the actual solution. Okay, so now that we have eyes, what in the hell could we have to do with these? I do not. Here you go, kid. You there want some eyeballs? Is... I mean, we could toss them in the oven to, like, screw up their experiments, maybe? Use jar with oven? I should keep it. Nope. Not that. I do not... Oh! Things have changed. Something's new. Oh, he broke free because we gave him the pliers. Okay, let's try to... Rather than feigning ignorance, even though we are pretty ignorant as to what's going on because our character has no memory, let's say that with these materials we may be able to remedy the atrocities we've committed. Let's try to make amends for what we did. They really do, Hatsiva. Although I gotta say, in more modern games, like your Unavowed, Blackwell, things like that, they make sure there's never a point where there's not at least some kind of hint as to what you should be doing next, you know? It seems like games are really good now of at least nudging you in the right direction. I think back in the day, especially like thinking of old Sierra games, they purposely made it so obscure that you would have to call a hint line or use a strategy guide to make any progress because it made zero sense. You must let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy We're the atrocities I have committed. How can you possibly undo an unspeakable crime such as this? Uh-oh. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. Wait, so what happened? Did we just lose the eyeballs? Like... Did that save us? Did that help us? I don't know. That makes sense why we couldn't continue, though, because they wanted to play that scene. It's funny, Asiva. I would have been totally confused as to why it's not working. And Rainbow, you remember playing a text adventure where some uh, item you missed, taken at the very beginning, made the game unwinnable. That's the worst. It's the worst, Rainbow. King's Quest V had a quest where you get, like, a pie. If you're able to buy this pie, you have this, like, lemon pie or something. And you can just eat it. And that's it. It's like, okay, I ate it. I think you might be able to give it to someone else just for fun. But you need to hold on to it to use it for a puzzle later on. And if you do anything else with it, you've soft-locked the game. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can never buy another one. It's impossible. You can't go back and fix the, what you broke. So does that mean you will allow me to go? Does that mean you will allow me to go? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. Oh dear. I must leave this place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now, I am the quarry. Oh my gosh, look at this place. There's a mass grave right behind us. It looks like the wall has a bunch of creepy faces on it. I have not seen so many corpses since... Ah, my memory is not what it used to be. <laughs> Wait, Nimdok, how many times do you see that many corpses? Faces. Faces of people in torture. And Cause, what is going on, Cause? That accent you did sounded off. It's okay, we'll wait patiently while you try to narrate it with the next line. <laughs> That's not me. Well, maybe I have some accent, but I think that might be Nimdok. 
in here with the accent. How is it going, Cos? What you up to, dude? You know, honestly, for like a game of this era when voice acting was generally notoriously awful, this game has had some pretty darn good voice acting. Now, I mean, some of these German accents are a little bit comical, but overall, especially with the other characters, it has been pretty good. Exactly, right? For this era, and everything is voice acted, not just specific stuff, but 100% of the dialogue, which I love. What is new with you, Kaz? What you been up to, dude? I saw you playing some uh, Minecraft earlier. How did that go? Okay, so can we talk to the wall? <laughs> There's a bunch of faces on it. No. I can almost pass through the wall, but something holds me back. Oh, that's weird. It's not like really a solid wall. Can we push it? This wall is permeable, like a shimmering curtain. So I think if I go through that door, that goes back to the mob that wants me killed. <laughs> it was chaos. Fun chaos, though, right? Very stressful week, and you have some job interviews for a promotion. Hell yes, dude. Cause that's awesome. Fingers crossed you get that promotion. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I thought maybe I could talk to these or something. No, they're just creepy faces. Um, okay, there's a grave. There's not much else to interact with. Faces. Faces of people in torture. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm glad you could drop by and hang out for a bit. Then I have to, and honestly, Kaz, it's cool to see you because I'm not going to be streaming for the rest of the week. We're doing some celebrations for my wife's birthday this weekend, so I'll have to skip the Thursday and Saturday stream. But that's like the only verb I haven't tried, Krem. We could try swallowing it. This looks like it is made of paper. But even that is more than I deserve to eat. He says that about everything. Everything is like made of paper. I think that's a bug. Um, can we use the mass grave? I should keep this. It may prove useful. Keep what? Um, how about take something from it? This is of no use to me. I don't think we can do anything. I would only rip it. With the mass grave. He's talking about these things like they are the poster we saw earlier. Okay, if we go back in the bunker, I have a feeling we might get killed. Let's go ahead and save it again real fast. I know this oh, place. Never mind. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. So maybe that wall was where we came from. I'm not entirely sure. I was kind of confused by that setup. <laughs> right, Krim? How was that made of paper? There's a bell jar with looks like a mouse in there? I must be feverish. I am having hallucinations again. Can we take it or use it? It is too heavy. Dude, like a piece of glass. Come on, you can do it. It... I have faith in you, Nimdok. There's not too much to click on this, which is kind of nice about this game is there's not like a million items in every single scene that I have to interact with. A lot of games are like that, and it's neat to get like flavor dialogue every time you look at something like a joke, but it can also be confusing as to what you actually interact with. A teletype machine. There is a message in it. A teletype machine? Is that like a... Like a typewriter, but huge? I don't know what that is. A printer? An old printer? The message reads, Cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device. This leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. This technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. So this is the, the very end of World War II, when the Allies have, you know, Hitler committed suicide, the Allies are taken over, they want to just get rid of everything. So if we want to be good, assuming the Nazis are the bad guy, which we always 
to agree with. Um, we can just maybe leave everything for the allies so they can take advantage of all this technology. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to look at here. Oh! Now I can look at the rat. If I'm really precise, we can look directly at the rat. I must be. Can we take the rat? No, it doesn't let you do that. Okay. Let's check out the next room. The legends are true. Oh no. This must be the golem of lost tribe folklore. It was prophesized this thing was going to kill me, remember? The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Okay. Wake him? So, wake up. Gollum, wake up. <laughs> he didn't have any reaction to that. Okay, there's a couple interesting things we can say here. We can say the truth is that this is all an illusion manufactured by Am. We can say the truth is I regret any crimes I committed in my past life. Or we can say time is truth, which is what somebody else told me earlier. I kind of want to say the truth is I regret any crimes. The truth is that I regret any crimes I committed in my past life. Maybe we just say all these things. The truth is that this is all an illusion manufactured by Am. Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Oh, and then we kiss this golem. <laughs> Sound effect. Nothing happened. This is pointless. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. I think we're missing a step here. Such a strange combination of scientific plans and mystic symbols. This has something to do with the golem, but the meaning is not clear. That kissing sound effect <laughs> was amazing. Okay, so we can't figure out what to do exactly with that. What is this vat? This vat contains a silvery liquid. Mercury, perhaps. Hmm. And it looks like there's like a hole in this golem, like a cut in his arm, but it's kind of hard to tell. So we got to try the switch. Nate, what is up, Nate? Welcome home from work. Hopefully you didn't have too bad of a day at work. Um, so we just started Nimdok's um, level today. We're still on the, the same chapter we started on. We found out that he was like a scientist in this like Nazi con concentration camp, essentially performing horrible experiments on people, dismembering people, just wrecking people's bodies, leaving them to die. But he has no memory of this. So he's just kind of coming to terms with all of the terrible things that he's done. And he's trying to make amends. He's like trying to help the uh, Jewish people escape the concentration camp, trying to do everything you can to fix things and right now we're trying to wake up this golem which is i think how we're going to finish this chapter but there's certain steps that we have to do to wake him up we're trying to figure that out now yes another morally awful lad <laughs> well i'm glad you survived nate i'm sorry it wasn't that great of a day at work this resembles a light switch let's press it and see what we break oh turn it off i see a mirror it was obscured by the light. Oh, so it's not just mercury, or is are we being reflected in the mercury? I see a mirror. Hmm, what could we do with that? Well, that goes back here. Is there any other way to go? Doesn't look like it. Such a strange combination of scientific plans and mystic symbols. This has something to do with the golem, 
but the meaning is not clear. This is what we need to figure out. Gollum, wake up. <laughs> that doesn't work. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. And then a nice big smooch. Nothing happened. I mean, once you do wake it up, it's going to murder you. This is pointless. <laughs> yeah, so our, our steps, Nate, are essentially wake up the golem, tell him the truth, and kiss him. And that's like the prophecy to finish things up, I believe. But I think we have to sort of um, discern what these blueprints mean. Such a... This we push this thing? I would all No. Let's say maybe there's something on the other side. A teletype machine. There is a message in it. We did read that. I didn't see any I mean I don't have any items to like use anything with this, Hasifa, but I tried using the vat afterwards. What is this mirror doing here? He just mentioned a mirror. Oh, now he grabs it. I could have sworn I did that before. <laughs> oh, my bad, Krem. Good call. Okay. Oh, my God. It is true. 1945. Turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me. So he was butchering his own people, his own family, I guess, to both just survive and everything in this place. Oh, my gosh. OK, so now we have a new truth. So let's try waking him up. Gollum, wake up. And then, oh, this is the same thing as before, though. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. I don't think it's going to fix it. Nothing happened. Oh, sorry. Did I say Krim? I meant Hasipa. Yeah, good call on that vat. This is pointless. So what else can we do with this mirror? Can we use the mirror on the golem? No reaction. This golem has no soul. He tried to, at the very least. I should keep this. We can't give it to him. Can we use it on the blueprints? I do not know what no. to do with this. Oh no, did I break it? I'm glad I've been making a lot of different saves, Hasifa. Okay, so we have the light back on. This vat contains a silvery liquid. Mercury, perhaps. Why don't you swallow some? This looks like it is made of paper. Everything looks like it's made of paper. This vat contains a seed. Can we take any of it? This liquid is thick, like molasses. He didn't take it. Can we use our mirror with it? It is gone. Oh, you can just get rid of it. I wonder what the point of that is. This vat con this leak. Oh, now I might have soft locked it. Now I can't even see the mirror anymore. This vat. This 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 vat. This leak. Yeah, before I was able to grab a mirror out of there, I put it back. <laughs> and I can't get my mirror back. More for Genix. Whoa. The ability to reorganize DNA at will. Did Arm discover my work in this area? 
Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? That mouse was turning into a cat. It is. He can't do anything with that bell it jar. So I, I guess I don't have to interact with that mouse. I must be. F that was weird. We didn't see that before. A teletype machine. I wonder if I wasn't supposed to give away the watch. Was that it, Hasipa? Because they do mention a couple times I that. I dare not return to the camp. I doubt the prisoners will give me a second chance. They mentioned a couple times about time being important. And we kind of gave away time by giving that guy a watch. Oh, it's something else? Okay. Faces! Faces of people in torture! Faces! And they say you can't go back in there. It's like, it looks like he, he can fit through the wall. Like, it's just not really a wall at all, but he can't actually go back. And there's the mass grave. We may have broken it. I don't know. Let me see if I can get the mirror back. If we look at this. Looks like Mercury. We hit the switch. Now does it look like a mirror? This vat con No, okay, yeah. It's this vat, this vat con Hopefully you're ne never supposed to get that mirror back. This liquid is thick. Something to do with the cutscene that played before this? Oh, when we lost the eyeballs, Hasifa? Maybe the golem needs the eyeballs. I wonder if I said the wrong thing when I talked to those guys. When I said, like, oh, maybe I can, like, fix things. He just went, wham, and slapped those eyeballs out of our inventory. It seems so automatic, though. Like, I assumed that was supposed to happen. We could try loading right before that and see what the other option does for us. Once again, super cryptic. <laughs> you never know what you're going to do to break it. Let me try loading 30 or 29. See where this one is. Okay, we're, we're not quite at that scene yet. What about this one? I think this is right before it, so we can grab the eyeballs. There we go. Now if we go back out, everyone's waiting for us, right? Oh, there's a box here. This was not here before. This box just mysteriously appeared. These files appear to have been packed in a hurry. And we can take them. I do not understand any of these papers. It is safely hidden in the box. So we hide the eye. So this is something you can only figure out after you've already lost. Is you have to hide the eyeball so it doesn't get smacked away by that guy, right? Any other things we're missing? There is a. We never did anything with this oven either. Okay, last time when I said this, he was able to smack it out of our hands. I'm hoping that now that we've hidden the eyeballs, nothing happens. You must let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. Okay. It hasn't been smacked away yet. I forget when that happened. Let's, let's ask this question. We didn't ask this last time. Why do you say that I'm one of you? Why do you say that I am one of you? You denied your heritage and turned your own parents into the regime. But you're still a member of the Lost Tribe. That makes your crimes all the more heinous. Seriously. 
Does that mean you will allow me to go? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. I must leave we still have this the eyeballs. place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now, I am the quarry. Okay, let's do another save over this one. I think with the eyeballs, we can actually wake I up the golem. This place. Do all that. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. I must be feverish. I am having hallucinations again. I just want him to kind of like see everything again, so we're back where we left off. A teletype machine. The, the message read. Tip. We can skip through a lot of this because we've already read this. The legends are true. This must be the golem of lost tribe folklore. Yeah, you know, Hasifa, I think it's like in Oblivion or maybe Morrowind or something. But if you try to like kill somebody that you need to have alive for like the main story, it will warn you, hey, if you kill this person, you're going to completely break the game and you can't continue to the end. They give you that choice and you have to say, OK, <laughs> or cancel and keep playing the game as normal. I love that. And I wish other games would do that for sure. OK, so um, we're going to try to use the switch. And then grab a mirror. I see a mirror. It was obscured by the light. There we go. What is this mirror doing here? So we can take the mirror. Now use the mirror. Oh my god. It is true. 1945. Turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me! Although, in a way, I kind of understand why a lot of these old games are just so dang hard. Um, because if they weren't hard, they'd be way too short. Especially you look at like old NES games and stuff. If you can play the game perfectly, you can finish them in like 45 minutes to an hour, typically, or less. But they're so difficult and you have to try them over and over and over that... Um, they end up taking weeks and months to finish. In a game like this, like if, once again, if you could never soft lock it, maybe you would finish it in a single day pretty easily. Um, I don't know if I did, Hasifa. I might have already gotten rid of it and never got it back. I do not know what to do with these. No, couldn't do it there. That's a good idea, though. So I'm going to try using the eyeballs on the golem. These eyes fit into the column sockets perfectly. That is morbid. Okay, so now that he has eyeballs, can we wake him up? The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. <laughs> you gotta kiss him. Okay, so let's say, Golem, wake up. Golem, wake up. I didn't see anything happen, so I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to go with, uh, I regret my crimes. The truth is that I regret any crimes I committed in my past life. And then we'll give him a big smooch. <laughs> Nothing happened. So giving him eyeballs, I think, was not quite enough. This is pointless i do not understand any of these papers we use the mirror on the box it is safely hidden in the box not what i meant to do <laughs> okay such a strength this has something to do with the golem so we need to do something to help identify what is going on with these blueprints? I wonder if there's any other verbs we can do on the golem. Can we push them? No. Um, can't like use the golem.
I cannot take this down. It is fastened too securely. I tried taking that. What about using the blueprints or the box I do on the blueprints? I do not know. Maybe I have to say all the things. Gollum. The truth is that this is all an illusion manufactured by Am. I mean, that is also the truth. Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Maybe that's what we really should have done. Oh! There we go! I was just missing that last line. Okay. Follow me into the laboratory. Gollum, follow me into the laboratory. Nimdok, I was afraid Gollum. I had lost you back there. It is good to see you and our new friend. Is this that Dr. Mendeley that we heard about earlier? He was another one of the guys dissecting and murdering people. How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the golem. Yes, I did forget that there's a secret escape route. Thank you for asking. You know about the golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the Lost Tribe of everything, even their folklore. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect Image? That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. Mercury. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. Unfortunately, it worked too well. Because it showed you what kind of a monster you were? You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all. Wow. But our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. That's interesting. So they're taking like Hitler's suicide in real life and kind of attributing it to some of the mechanics and like folklore in the game. That's kind of cool. I looked into the mirror. I now remember everything with crystal clarity. The research comes, the serum. Ah, yes, the youth serum. Your research demanded the deaths of many children, but your oh. hard work was successful. Eternal youth for those who deserve it. What, you think you deserve it? Now I know how Am was able to keep us alive for so many years. Mm -hmm. Your use serum can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Uh, you know, I was asking, like, how are these people living to be like 105 years old? I think it's how long they've been tortured after Am kind of took everything over. Now it makes complete sense. Excuse me, doctor. I need to get a breath of fresh air. So now I have to assume, let's go ahead and save it, we need to instruct the golem to kill this guy, right? <laughs> the first option right here, the first new option. Let's do it. Golem, kill Dr. Mengala. Oh, he goodness. Was a pig. What just happened? He just like crushed his skull? What was that? <laughs> okay, follow me outside. Let's keep on going. Elegant. So does Am just kill more children to make more serum? That's a good question. You would think that they have to keep producing it to keep this thing going, right? Elegant? I don't know, but that's a very good question. I haven't read the book, but it might go into more detail about that. Gollum, follow me outside. And how are you doing, Elegant? Good to see you. Or, yeah, just have human Lindoc. farms. True. I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. 
he was gonna hunt us hunt us down. We had a chance to run, but we didn't. Oh, you can instruct the golem to destroy the lost tribe, or guard the bunker entrance, or transfer control over to the lost tribe. I think that's what we should do, but I kind of want to like talk to this guy first. I don't know. <laughs> Crumb destroy the tribe. <laughs> oh yeah, I meant to ask you guys, who's tried Halo Infinite? I'm glad to hear you're liking that, Elegant. Um, I haven't had a chance to try it myself yet, but is the multiplayer free for everybody? Or is the multiplayer, is it like just a um, temporary like beta? Is that what this is, like a testing phase? I wasn't sure if the whole thing is free to play. That'd be really awesome if it is. I gotta try it out. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to tell him to guard the bunker just so I can check it out. Oh, and it's gonna be full for the free game, too. Definitely have to download that. Golem, guard the bunker entrance. I will return. Oh, I guess if we forgot something back here, we can do that? I don't think there's anything else we need here. Such a This has something. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. You download both uh, uh, Battlefield and Infinite, and you plan on playing both. Is Battlefield already out? I didn't know what the release date for that was. And Infinite has some things that need tweaking and some bugs with uh, connecting, but otherwise it's fun. I was such a big fan of Halo back in like the Halo 1, 2, 3 days, and ODST where we would get all of our Xboxes hooked up. I'd have friends bring their TVs and systems and controllers over. And we would regularly set up like 12 to 16 player games. And it was so much fun all in one house. I do miss those days. Like, I don't know if that's ever going to come back because everything's online now. It's a different vibe when you got everybody in the same space, drinking, having a good time, playing games, having, you know, eating together and everything. It's just totally different than playing online. Playing online is very convenient, but it's just a different vibe in person. Okay, we're going to transfer control over to them because they deserve it. <laughs> Sorry, Krim. Not going to murder everybody. Gollum, I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. Mm -hmm. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Hey, golem, Bill. kill Nimdok. How's it going, Bill? Oh, and now we are dead. Not as alike as I thought, Nimdok. Spark of humanity somewhere. Always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I asked you to do. Since you now. Identify with your victims. I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their tortures, too. Ah, you. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. Failing's the name of the game. I'm great at failing. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Sorry, I had to let all those cutscenes play through. Let me give you a quick shout out there dude and uh how was your stream what were you playing star wars jedi knight jedi academy i have never played that game we did just play jedi fallen order but that one was like um like xbox 360 era i think i haven't tried that one but uh it's the one i'm thinking of i heard a lot of good things how did you like it how was your stream dude all right let me jump back into the game yeah, I hope you had a great time in the awesome old game. Was it Xbox 360 or is it even older than that? There's been so many Star Wars games over the years. I've got a lot of them mixed up. Oh, and that makes sense, um, Hasi, but I think some of those games do come out on EA Origins or whatever before it comes out to other places. More incentive to get it there, right? 2005? Oh, that might have been original Xbox. If it was like 2003, 2005, yeah, that would probably be original Xbox era. An elegant get 16 people with gamer laptops. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. And imagine like 16 separate machines all sucking power at once. Man, you better have a pretty dang good power grid in your house. They're beefy gaming laptops all running at the same time. 
you remember renting one of them and having uh, fun letting bots run into laser mines. You know, some of those games back in the day had like brilliant bots, like in particular Unreal Tournament. Have you guys played that game? Those bots felt just like real people half the time. Unless you put them on the highest difficulty, then they were just godlike and there's nothing you could do. But otherwise, they were like practically a human. I thought they did a good job with the AI. Nice. Well, thank you again so much for the raid. I appreciate that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and save it right here. Again, I'm doing a lot of saves. And we're going to start the last chapter with Head. I vaguely remember his chapter. I think I liked it. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. All right. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. No, you're not. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. And if you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. you out. You're away. That sounds like a hell of a deal. I don't trust it for a second. Well, now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Hmm. How about we go this way, the opposite way you want me to go, because there's an arrow going right there. We can look at the arrow. The arrow's pointing toward the room of dark. Should I follow it or go the other way? Which is the worst of the two choices? I like going the other way. <laughs> Whoa, Hasi, but that got dark real quick for Star Wars. <laughs> Gotta love PC mods, right? This path disappears down into the mist. There's something moving down there. I can't see it, but I know it's there. That's kind of creepy. Can we go that way? This path. No, we can't force him. Okay, we do have to go to this room of dark. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say... These video screens have palm print switches next to them. I wonder if these are like um, flashbacks to Ted's life or something. Oh, it was actually in the game. It was just disabled. I think like hot coffee for Grand Theft Auto. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, has anybody picked up that new GTA trilogy release? I've heard nothing but terrible things about it. So sad. This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. What does Am know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? Yes, I was thinking that maybe uh, he's had to do with his past. A forest. Not one to go hiking through. And this forest is dark, foreboding. So my guess is that there's going to be an order that we have to press these buttons, maybe? Why show me a rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, honestly, there was dismemberment in Star Wars. It was just never bloody, and it probably isn't in that game either. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. I never liked going to the circus. <laughs> All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're really thinking. I can't actually seem to select any of these things. Do I just hit use on the screen? This looks like the time. What does Am know about my ch Maybe push? Let me try pushing. There we go. 
Oh, 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 sorry, Ted. Try again. Ah, you. Wait, You're what? You're the last player <laughs> in the game. I urge you, do not fail. As the that was it? Fail. I'm so confused. I'll just go ahead and load it. Oh! I guess we never even saved it when we were there. Okay. I'll skip through this. That was... What was the trick? What was the puzzle? I know what... He says to go to the dark room. And if we can solve the dark room puzzle, that's it. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Anne hmm. want me to solve? So we have a tire Sorry. swing. These video screens have palm print switches next to them. We have a tire swing, a forest, a rooftop, a castle, and a monitor. Oh, that's right. I always forget to read the book in the beginning, Elegant. It's usually more of a clue as to what our character's psychological state is, which is very useful. So, psychological framework. A paranoid personality is characterized by delusions of grandeur, suspicions of plots, and heightened feelings of anxiety and jealousy. Doesn't necessarily help us for this puzzle, but gives us an idea of what our character's kind of like. Okay, so if, if it's called the Dark Room Puzzle, maybe one of these contains a dark room. Are there more monitors? No, I can't seem to walk around the room. So maybe we pick one that has a dark room. This is like those those uh, CAPTCHA things where it says, like, press every picture that has a car or a boat or something. That's not a dark room. That's not a dark room. That rooftop could have a dark room, maybe. The uh, castle probably has a dark room. And I wouldn't think the circus has a dark room, but maybe. It's more tense and stuff, right? So, maybe the castle? A castle, right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the window. He also says that, which is a little ominous. So, let's try using that. Cast oh, wait, push that. That's right, you have to push it. Hey! What sort of intrigue is Am plotting this time? He's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. That's good, though. We made some progress. And when you fail multiple times on those, you begin to think maybe you're a robot. That, too. Graham, I can see it going for that. Look, at there's, like, creepy eyes staring at me through the forest. I love this scene. This looks so cool. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. <laughs> this guy. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. Well, I don't think you have another option. You do have to cross. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. This guy. Beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Appearance is everything. This guy has so much money, no worries in the world. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? You know, maybe one of you guys can look this up, but this voice actor sounds a lot like the voice actor from Sanitarium that we streamed a while back. That was one of Therapy Android's requested games. I wonder if it is the same voice actor. People must have been much shorter in the Middle Ages. I'd never be able to fit into that armor. Oh, he can't actually use it. Can we push it over? The damn door is blocking the way. This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. I mean, it looks like the door already failed its assault. It's like hanging off the hinges. The door won't close. Wait, what door did you go to? I was trying to use this door right here. No one of the... Oops. No wonder the door won't close. One of the door hinge pins is missing. Are we supposed to fix that? The door won't. The door. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. The damn doors. 
So I, I think you maybe need to push the armor, but I can't until I do something with the door. Is this where we came from? No. Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Oh, is this his partner or something? Okay, what's over here first? All this perfume and jewelry must belong to Ellen. After all these years in Am's clutches, she deserves to enjoy life's finer things. Wait, is that the same Ellen that we played as earlier, who was all scared of yellow and had that traumatic experience in the elevator? I wonder if we can use anything here. These are Ellen's. These Wait. are Ellen's things. I wouldn't dream of taking them. <laughs> Usually adventure protagonists don't feel that way. They just take everything they can. Scan around, make sure there's nothing else. Like just Ellen. Oh, Ted. I feel so tired, so weak. I'm trying to tell if that's the same voice actress as before. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Ina sounds like her, but she sounds weaker, you know? Doesn't have quite the sass she did before. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Uh, doesn't that sound so nice? <laughs> Not being tortured, but just to be in a bed so long. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No way, Ellen. We gotta get you out of here. Skywalker, what is up, buddy? How are you doing? What is happening? What have you been up to lately? No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Hmm. What would she need her mirror for? Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Oh, so it like protects her maybe. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Not yet, not yet. Where is? I left it on my... On the dressing table, right here? Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Can we use it now? Like open a drawer, maybe? Perfume bottle. No. Well, we'll tell her it wasn't there. Ted. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. I really like the voice acting in this chapter. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been in bed long enough, Ellen. Get some more sleep. Okay, we gotta explore more of this place. Let's go ahead and save it real fast. 34. Looks like there's a door right there, but I'm not sure. That's what I was wondering, Krim. I can't tell if it's the same Ellen or not. It kind of sounds like her, but being in the bed and sounding all weak, it's kind of hard to tell. And maybe it's supposed to be. There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. This room looks awesome. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. Can we take any? Oh, you can actually pick which book you want to read. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Sergot, opener of locks. Is it like Jill Valentine from Resident Evil, the master of lockpicking? Hmm, 
Too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Oh yeah, we'll probably be doing that. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. <laughs> Bill, I was thinking the same thing. What do we need this god if you got Jill Valentine? She can unlock anything. What's it going, Max? What are you up to, dude? Good to see you. We'll, we'll probably have to come back to those books at some point. Like, once we have a reason to pick one up, you know? Glass. Pieces of a broken mirror. Oh, crap. Maybe um, her mirror is no longer going to be around because it just got smashed. Mm, I'd only smear blood on it. Wait, can we not pick it up? Hard to select that. Ow! I cut myself. We got it, but now our blood is on there. Oh, you just woke up half an hour ago? Did you get some good sleep, Max? You know, I got to bed a little bit um, early last night. I thought I was going to get a good night's sleep. I felt like crap all day. I don't know what it was. I was just a little tired. I had like a little headache pretty much all day until I got home and I was able to take some Excedrin. But it was miserable. My blood is all over this glass. I feel a cold draft blowing across the bed like from an open grave. Look at these, like, pillars on the corners of the bed. That's awesome. With candles on there, too? I mean, that's definitely a safety hazard, but it's pretty sweet. Use the bed, Ted. If I slept here, I doubt I would wake up again. <laughs> True. <laughs> Poor Max, did you go to sleep early? I hope. I hope you didn't go to sleep at like two in the morning and then wake up at seven. Otherwise, you might be exhausted. Yeah, we haven't been this way either, I don't think. This looks yeah, like this a new. chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. Oh, 11 p.m. Plenty of sleep then, Max. That's a good night. I, I rarely ever get eight hours. I'm happy if I get over six. That's good for me. And Prawn, what is going on, Prawn? How you doing? Welcome back. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. That's a pulpit? I know I've heard that term before. I, I don't really use that word ever. Nothing special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. Can we grab that thing? And uh, Skywalker, what have you been playing lately? Anything new? Oh, and you've been playing Jurassic World 2 Evolution. How do you like that? Um, I'm guessing you played the first one. I have the first one, but I haven't played it yet. And I kind of want to play the first before I try the second, but I'm curious, do you like it more? About the same? What do you think? I don't know anything about magic. Can we take that icon? We can take it. Nothing special about this. Let's see. You get nine or ten hours of sleep or one to two hours of sleep before work. Krim, is it one or the other? Nine or ten hours. Man, I can't remember the last time I got that much sleep. But one or two hours, I would be hurting. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. So you're doing 2K, Vanguard, and Borderlands 2? And you're trying to get all the achievements. How is that going? Is that game a really hard one to get achievements in? I've never really done much achievement hunting, so... I have a few games I've got 100% achievements on. They're all very, very easy. You just do it by accident, trying to beat the game. It's bolted to the wall. So we can't take that, huh? It's... Maybe we can find something to cut it free or unbolt it. A mixed bag, Prawn. Uh, there's things you like and things you don't. The new scientist's mechanics and is micromanaging and annoying. You love the game for so much you played 500 hours. So you might say, Prawn, the changes they made maybe didn't enhance the game for you. You kind of prefer the original. I know I haven't voted yet, Max. I've only played three of the Game of the Year nominees. I played It Takes Two. Um, I beat that with Andy. We streamed um, Resident Evil Village. And we also streamed Psychonauts too. 
but the other ones I haven't played yet. Uh, what about you, Max? What did you guys, or what did you vote for? Or anybody, have you anybody voted for the uh, Game of the Year nominees? It's so unlike, uh, he's up to something. Okay, there's a bunch of sconces here. I'm gonna try to take them all. A secret passage. Oh. What's waiting for me up there? I did not expect that. I'm gonna try to take the other ones too. It's bolted to the wall. <laughs> you know, that's something I very would have easily missed and never found. I'm glad I did find it, though. Uh, let's go ahead and save again. So you do prefer the original so far, sorry to say. Um, you still have a lot of it to play. It could get better. Absolutely, Pran. Sometimes systems in the beginning aren't your favorite, but when you get deeper into the game, it makes more sense why they developed it that way, and it becomes more fun. It is amazing, Lauren. I, honestly, I think it takes it's going to be between It Takes Two and Resident Evil Village for me for Game of the Year. But It Takes Two might take the cake because it was such a unique, fun experience. It requires two people. You cannot play it single player. But it was just so charming, so much fun. I loved the gameplay. I loved how it required you to work together and the way they put that into the story was just so unique and fun. I really loved it. I highly recommend if you guys like to play games together, you check that one out. And Skywalker, so not good so far. A lot of leveling up to do. And you tried 2042. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear you're liking that one, though, Skywalker. I do want to try the new Halo Infinite demo that just got released, or the beta, I guess. Some sort of demonic rituals must go on here. Oh, dear God. What in God's name have I stumbled onto? It's not a John Cadia stream if you don't run into um, a cult of some type. A partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. I think it just came out, Skywalker. Yeah, like a day or two ago. It's on Steam, I saw. I, I guess it's everywhere, I'm assuming. Partially complete. This must be. Okay, so we'll have to probably come back here once we find out what is necessary in a ritual and then perform all those tasks. It's my guess. And Taja, you would have played Rift Apart if you could find a PS5. <laughs> you know, that might be a good one to stream sometime. I've never played a um, Ratchet and Clank game for more than like 10 or 15 minutes. I remember my little brother played them back in the day. And I think I played one of his for a little bit, but I never really got into it. So I would love to like try one out. And that'd probably be a great one to start with. It looks amazing. So your boyfriend and I are getting into playing games together, but we don't know many of them. So th that one is like mind blowingly good. I highly recommend that one, uh, Lauren, as well as their previous game, which is called A Way Out. It's very similar that the whole game is made for co-op. So you guys will have a blast together with that. Definitely check out both of those first. <laughs> and uh, if you want a game that's like super fun, frantic, and a little bit stressful, but very good team building game, there's a game called Overcooked, where you guys work together to like make meals and serve them as quickly as possible. And you have to work together to do it efficiently. Those games are so much fun. But at the same time, like when... It's rough. <laughs> you guys will be shouting at each other. <laughs> okay, so I guess we should probably take the mirror shard that we have and give it to Ellen. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. At the same time, though, I'm scared that she's going to, like, slit her wrists or something because she wants to die. We're just giving her a piece of glass, which would be very easy to do. Right, Krem? It gets so stressful. I've never played it very much with four players. I think that might even be harder. It is up to four players. But I played it two players with my wife. We got all the achievements on the first game. And we played the second game quite a bit. Where we haven't 100%ed it yet. And Elegant, you played five of the games out of the nominees? That's awesome. And I guess I really can't vote. Wait. Oh, for all the categories, Elegant, you've only played five games. I thought you were saying you played five games of the um, uh, Game of the Year nominees. Like, that's good. That's almost all of them. <laughs> I played half of them. Of course, Lauren. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what you think of those games. Okay, let's say 
We got your mirror. Here you go. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. Oh, I have to give it to her. <laughs> I was like, D did you do it? What's going on? What am I waiting for? Ted, I can't see my face with this. What are you talking about? Can I use it myself? Use the glass with her? Mm, I'd only smear blood on it. Oh, I'd hate to smear blood on her, right? Yeah, I thought I could use that glass with her, because this was part of the mirror, right? My blood is all over this glass. Maybe we need to, like, clean it first, I guess, before we can actually give it to her? Oh, you haven't played any of the Game of the Year. I haven't looked at all the other categories. I only briefly looked at the Game of the Year nominees. I'm sure I've played probably, like, ten of them total or something, but... Uh... Game of the Year, at least I played half of them. That's actually better than most years, honestly. And 12 Minutes is up for Best Indie. And it feels rather weird considering the themes of the game. It is dark. It is very dark, Max. But it's bold and doing some interesting things. I'm not totally surprised to see it, but that might make some people that maybe wouldn't have thought to check it out, <laughs> check it out and then be completely shocked, right? I've got to find that mirror and prove to Ellen my worthiness of her love. What's with these tapestries? Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. Can we use this shard of glass to, like, cut the tapestry? I don't know what to do with these. No. <laughs> and, Bill, you like how this game looks like it's from Windows 95? Is that why it's called Retro? So why it says Retro, Bill? The name of the game is called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. But we're under the Retro category because... There's nobody watching that category. <laughs> it's just empty. But a lot of people know about this game or have heard of it. So if you play retro games in the retro category, you can often find more people to jump in and hang out with you. Let's see. And people are really mad. SMTV. Oh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Is that right? Is the nominee for best RPG. It just came out last week and very few people have had time to finish it. And I think there's some rules about... Um, like when it releases, like how close to December, if that can count. Because I want to say, what was it? Not that it would have been in the nominees anyway, but didn't like Cyberpunk come out like in December? So people were saying like, yeah, that can't actually be part of the Game of the Year nominees, I want to say. Hmm. What could we do with a shard of glass? I feel like there's like another door that we're missing. Oh, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Such a good game, Bill. Okay, let's check out these Fine. books this again. Is... See if anything else is sticking out here. Oh, there's a new one. Um, we, we read a few of these. I don't think we ever read this one. The Secrets of the Necronomic Summoning. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. There we go. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Complete the charm, which makes me think maybe it has something to do with this icon, possibly? I don't know. <laughs> That's true, Ellie. It seems more political than anything else, right? How that's getting nominated. That's what I was worried about, Krim. It's like, man, if we give her that glass, she's going to cut herself. But she just said that she can't see herself in the glass. Can I use the glass on something to, like, clean I don't it? Know what to do. I need, like, running water or something. Actually, if we can go back outside, is it, like, raining? Can we use that? Wolves howl like that because they're hungry and because they like to torment their... We did make it outside, but there's, like, no rain or anything. Oh, Krem, have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And games eligible for the Game Awards must be available for public consumption before November 19th. That makes sense. 
Um, titles released after this date will be eligible for next year. So I'm curious, did Cyberpunk get nominated for anything? I can see it get nominated not knowing the graphics, like, um, what is it? Or I guess like best graphics, potentially, or something like that, best sound, maybe? Okay, there's nowhere else to go out here. This gargoyle is even larger than those at Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. I wonder if we have to do anything with these gargoyles. This, gar this gargoyle. This gar Can't really use any items with it. Oh, it did for best soundtrack? Um, oh, I think I, I missed that, what Elegant said. It is there for best soundtrack. Okay. I'm not surprised about that. I did really like the music in that game. And honestly, I think it should be up for best graphics. <laughs> it's funny. Like, I had a great time with Cyberpunk. It's not as good as The Witcher 3. It's not the best game ever. But I played on PC. I didn't play on launch day. I played a couple weeks after, I think. And I had very minimal bugs. Like, I know the console versions were completely effed. But uh, my experience on PC, it was like playing... A Bethesda game, you know, sure. Sometimes people had some weird animations, but no, none of my quests ever got blocked out. I never saw people T posing or any of the weird glitches with like falling through the world or anything. Never saw anything like that. It worked really well. Now, it didn't have my favorite mechanics of any game ever. It looked amazing. I actually really liked the story in Cyberpunk. Um, I loved all the characters, little side stories. I thought they did a great job with that. Let's see if we can give her the icon, see if she knows anything about this. I don't know anything about magic. <laughs> I'm not asking if you know. Dapper, what's going on, Dapper Alchemist? How's it going? Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I mean, I did, but you can't use it. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. I can't give it to her. She just says she can't see her face in it. Hmm... Okay, let's explore a bit more. Is there another way to go in here? There's the armor. No wonder the door won't close. One of the door hinge pins is missing. I wonder if we can use any of this with that. Hmm, I'd only smear blood on it. You were shooting an invisible gun a few times in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Someone poured me scotch from an invisible glass. I might have noticed like 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 sometimes maybe somebody walked out of a car before the door opened or walked into a car before a door opened. Just like like little things that you almost expect in open world games, honestly. But nothing game breaking, nothing that completely ruined my immersion for sure. Terminator is based on a uh, Terminator is based on a short story called about AI called I Have No Mouth. I don't think this is related to term, but it could be. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I guess I can see some parallels to like Skynet as far as like apocalyptic AI into the world. Kind of like the Matrix as well, honestly. Fits almost perfectly. Oh, I use the gargoyle to fix the door. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? Can we push this thing now? So what did I actually just do right now? It looked like we just managed to close the door. Can we use the door now? I can't open the door with that armor blocking the way. Okay, now can we- I'll have to find another way out. Now can we push this armor? It won't budge any further. Hmm. So it looks like we pushed the armor a little bit out of the way, but we still can't use the door. Can't open the door. I'll have to find a hmm. Oh! Now this must be the bedroom of the Lord of the Castle. We never went in this room. Nice. And Valheim is on the list for best multiplayer. Uh, not bad for a game that's technically still in development. I had so much fun with Valheim this year, Tasha. Such a fantastic experience. Um, I do wish there was more to it, but even with the game where it is, I still spent over 150 hours, which is not normal for me. I don't usually put that much time into a single game. No one slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. I mean, I don't know, Max. Like, for me personally, I could see it winning, like, um, best graphics or something if it was even nominated for that. 
I wouldn't give it like best gameplay or best story or anything necessarily, but I could see Cyberpunk winning some of those off kind of like, you know, technical, I guess, things. Or sound, I guess. <laughs> I guess the sound wasn't buggy. And you'll feel bad because even in categories where you played something in, there is another game you probably would vote for if you had played it. That's true. It's so hard to really vote elegant unless you've played everything. But I think all the voters do have to play everything to a certain point in every category, right? Otherwise, what's the point of voting? It was so beautiful. That's right, Dapper. Seriously. But what else can we interact with in here? There's a bookcase. Quite an impressive collection of books. Signs, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. You know what was the biggest bummer about that elegant? Is they should have just scrapped the console versions of um, Cyberpunk immediately. And just waited to release a PS5 Xbox series version later on down the line. Because it's, it's just too much for current consoles. They should have just put all their energy into perfecting the PC version. In which case, they could have released it at the same time. And with all their efforts on that, it probably would have been even more you know, uh, I guess not buggy. <laughs> and then a year later, a half a year later, do that. Yeah. No, but money. You're 100% right. That's the answer to 9 out of 10 questions. Money. Whoa! Look at all these books. Read the journal. <laughs> Taji, I like money. That's why they did what they did. They also like money. I've heard bad things about New World Max, but I'm also interested because I love MMOs. And I heard that one, the crafting is great. But I also heard it's really buggy and has a lot of problems. This looks like a diary. I mean, of course we're going to start at the beginning. The first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her twists her oh so that's what's happening to ellen every day is like a year to her the second passage reads the incantations i hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there hmm. the third passage reads ellen grows weaker and weaker my wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. Oh, I think we just accomplished something. Every time you hear that noise, you did something good. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. Honestly, Max, people would have been upset, but I think they would have gotten over it pretty quick if CD Projekt Red had said, you know, fairly close to, but maybe at least six months before release, hey, we tried really hard, but the scope of our game is just too big for the PS4 and Xbox One. So we have to scrap those versions, focus on the PC release, which will then translate well the PS5, Xbox Series versions, where, you know, has the technical capability to match our expectations of the game. And I think most people would have been like, okay, that sucks, I only have a PS4 and I was looking forward to this game. But at the same time, they'll be happy that they're going to get a better game later on down the line anyway. And InterSynth, how's it going? Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so we got some more information about what's happening to Ellen, but I don't know if we can actually do anything about it quite yet. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, Dapper. I didn't play through all the different stories, but it did seem like they all just kind of become one eventually anyway. <laughs> right? You had to buy... That was kind of nice, Bill. Every game you got was essentially mostly bug-free. But um, I guess a potential problem with that is sometimes a game did have a big bug, and it could never be fixed unless they did a recall or you could send in for a new version or something. There were updated Super Nintendo games and stuff. It did happen from time to time. But games have just gotten so complicated. They used to be so much more simple. It's hard to really test everything in like Red Dead Redemption 2 versus everything you could do in Super Mario World. You know, the, the amount of 
different statuses where things can break is infinitely worse in Red Dead 2. I wonder if it'd be worth to read any of these other ones. I think we might as well. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. <laughs> and that happened too, Max. There were definitely garbage games, even when they had to be complete without patches. Although I feel like patches at a point are making developers not lazy, but not really trying to get it perfect out the gate. They realize, okay, we can have some bugs. It won't be the end of the world. We'll get a little bit of flack, but we'll make some sales and we can fix it a few weeks down the line, which sucks for people that buy it right away. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. I know some of these stories that he's talking about, but not all of them. Like this one here? I don't know this one. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. Well, maybe I do know that one. I just didn't recognize the title. Mort Darthur? This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I bet all of these things have some kind of symbolism to what's going on in the game. Oh, getting some sleep, Bambi. Thank you so much for joining us. Get a good rest. Have a great night. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. <laughs> is that what we're doing right now, essentially? Oh, Max, when those games came out with like almost game-breaking bugs, that was such, such a shame. I, I hate it when you read about a game. Sometimes there's like a game I'm looking forward to, and this is like before patches, and you'd read online where it said like, oh, um, if you do this and this and this, you can never beat the game. And sometimes you had to look at spoilers in a way, just so you knew not to accidentally do that. Like, okay, be sure you do this before you do this, otherwise you can never progress. Like in a Zelda game, something it's like, oh dear God, I don't want that to happen. I think we only really needed to look at that journal entry. I was hoping for something to clean off the blood on our um, glass, but I don't see anything. Let's see if we can talk to Ellen again, now that we know more about her state, her condition. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Oh, we do have some new stuff to say. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Oh, poor Ellen. So what if we just say we can't find your mirror? <laughs> she just go back to sleep? I'm sorry, Ellen. I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away, and it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. The volume on that increased a little bit. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Everyone's like, yes, let's do this. And then when you tell her that thing, she's like, you have to do no, no, no. Dear God. Who recorded that? Who's mixing this? Oh, and that's that's another way a lot of people screwed up their games, Dapper. If you could only have one save, you could save it right before a terrible spot. And even though you haven't broken the game, if you're not power en powerful enough to get past it, like you could be totally stuck. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. So I don't know what the deal with this pulpit is. We can try to use our glass on here. I don't know what to do with these. I don't know what it's asking me for. Let's go back to, uh, oh wait, where's that door? I think I need to use this again. There we go. <laughs> and Metroid Dread speedrunners are currently going through that right now. A glitch they found uh, that was used in their current route was just patched out. That would suck. Being a speedrunner and you've mastered this like one uh, technique, and then all of a sudden, it's not in the game anymore because it's been patched. Like, oh man, that just wrecks records and it makes things kind of just out of date, which sucks. Yeah, I think it just started last weekend, Tajay. I haven't started watching it yet, but I am very interested. Has anyone started watching the new Dexter yet? I love the first half of the first series. <laughs> the second half, not so much. 
I wonder if we need to do something with our glass here. I imagine There's we do. There's not enough blood to draw anything. Oh, so we need to draw something there. Do we have to use it on ourselves? We can't. My blood is all over this glass. But apparently it's not enough. <laughs> Now, what's sad is like the, the last half of Dexter, it wasn't terrible television. Now, there's a lot worse shows out there. It was just kind of a shell of its former self. And I don't know if it was because writers left the show. I think that was probably the case. Something changed and it was like, hmm, what is going on here? Okay, what the hell can we do to this armor? Hmm, I'd only smear... Surprise! I can't push it anymore because this door right here we can't get to. I don't know how good this armor was in battle, but it's certainly doing a fine job of barricading the door. People must have been much shorter in the Middle Ages. I'd never be able to fit into that armor. Ted, you need to lift some more. <laughs> we need you to move that. Oh, you've already watched... Um two episodes i see taj i see what you mean you said you, how did you not know but you just figured it out yesterday and you caught up it's good that you're liking it though that gives me hope nice and on pc runners often roll back to previous patches where the glitches exist see that's cool about pc is oftentimes whether it's through unscrupulous means or whatever you got to do there's ways to go back and experience these things whereas on consoles it's a lot more tricky Unless you've hacked your console, which a lot of people don't want to do. But, you know, gosh, what do you do? Just disconnect your console from the internet and just hope you never get that patch? It helps if you have a physical version of the game, because you can always install that original version without patching it. Oh, Bill, and it's hard to go back to games where you don't have an autosave feature? Like, this game doesn't have autosave, but I don't mind saving it often. I just have to kind of consciously remember to do it all the time. Especially because this game, you can break your progress and not do anything else. Why, this is a collect... Are there any other books here we need? We've read everything we need here. Unless we need to reread one of these other books. This is a catalog of the demon. It's at the lockpicking thing. Mm, too bad I can't read. Opening a gate. This book seems to be about how to change... I think we've read all those. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. No, I think that's everything in those books we need. There might be more in that other room, actually, that had the other books. Let's check that out. Like, maybe I have to do the other bookshelves. No, those are all the same, actually. This looks like... The second passage reads... The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal mm. workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter. What's the wife's infernal bookroom? We haven't seen the kitchen yet, Hussey, but is that behind the armor? I haven't figured out Third how to move that yet. Third passage reads, Ellen... We saw that one. First passage reads, The final passage reads, the forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves. Yeah, I think the only thing important there is talking about that workroom, which we need to find. Oh, I never saw Shameless, Tajay. Eh? Eleven seasons. That was, that's a long time to stay at high quality. Hmm. Okay, so this is how you exit down there. We haven't figured out how to move this thing. It's the door at the end of the long carpeted hallway. This one, right? Well, that's where Ellen is. And then isn't down here, isn't this the way to leave? Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. What? Hold on. How do I leave this place? I thought that I did all the exits. So wait, this goes here. Okay. I'll get out of here. This goes to this room. This is Ellen. This is that other bedroom. Is it this way? 
I don't even know how to get out of the castle now. I feel like there's like more. There's not enough exits for how many places we've been. I'm so confused. Well, I'm okay with that. Here it is, a new place. <laughs> Didn't even think about just going down. I thought that's the way we came from. And if Ellen is sick and she is feeling old or bad every day, it reminds me of that Edgar Allan Poe story. That's right. Is that the one with like the painting, um, Bill? Or like, the, or now I think it's a different story where like the painting gets old, but he doesn't. Or maybe it is the same one. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Yeah, honestly, like sometimes I get nervous about Dorian Gray. That's it. Thank you, Dapper. Um, I get nervous about starting a really long show because honestly, it's not all going to hold up. There's going to be a lot of like, it's kind of, I don't want to say jank, but a lot of... Um, just slowness, you know, and, and pacing issues potentially if it's really long. That's one thing I loved about, uh, what is that show? Um, Breaking Bad, only five seasons, and it felt like it always had a great pace, great story, and everything was like meaningful. Even if it's something small happens that doesn't seem like it is, like why are you even showing me this? It comes back to haunt the characters later on, and I loved how they did that. Okay, well, let's talk to the maid. Looks like she's about to... What does she have in her hand? Is that food? Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Oh, it's a chicken, Say, okay. you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. <laughs> Speaking of handsome men, what happened to my wife? What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? She's been ill, and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Flirting with me? Lauren, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. I love Breaking Bad. And I've watched Better Call Saul, which is kind of a spinoff. I don't like it as much, but it is still interesting in its own right. Very different. It's like kind of a prequel to Breaking Bad, but... I just recommend you definitely check out Breaking Bad. The concept isn't something that like really interested me, but the more I got into it, the better the story was told. It just kept me glued the whole time. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. <laughs> oh, giggity goo. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? <laughs> I love that explanation. <laughs> the owner's so ugly, they just don't want any mirrors around. We can also just say, it was enchanting talking to you. What a way to say goodbye. Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Did... Did she just say quality time? <laughs> we know a lot about quality time in this stream. I don't think I've ever heard of another game call it that. Was that like a mid 90s thing? I don't know, but I'm so happy. Um, you can say, wow, can I possibly refuse? Quality time. There it is. There it is. Thank you. Is that you, Max? We needed that. We need that. Oh my goodness. It's, I don't think I've ever heard another game use that term, but it must have been like a weird mid 90s thing. So we'll say, uh, I'm going to stay true to Ellen. That is a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. She's probably a demon or something. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? My wife is behind me whispering, cheater, as this woman's flirting with me. 
Oh, you're watching an old video and you were talking about horny jail. Yes, Lauren. Actually, I can't take credit for horny jail. That is very much a creation of relentless and the mods in this stream and coming up with that term. Whenever somebody is being too horny, whether it's in chat or in the game, they need to go straight to horny jail. And she absolutely needs to go to horny jail. <laughs> Nate, what do you mean, John? It'd be neat if we could have like a status of horny jail in the stream. Maybe there's like a bot that can do that function where people can get banished to horny jail for a certain amount of time. I don't know what horny jail could do to them. It'd be neat if it like showed up in chat so you could tell every time they try to talk they're currently in horny jail, but that'd be so funny. Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? Jeez, I'm just not into you, lady. Deal with it. I got a woman. I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed. Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. Whoa. I can, you know. <laughs> yeah, she she needs to be thrown into horny jail and throw away the key. Oh my goodness. Yep, Georgie's right behind me gave a little woof. Our mods are amazing, Lauren. Shout out to Nate, who's here right now, and Tajay. You guys are awesome. Yeah, this is a kid's game, lady. Well, no, not quite. But, I mean, we've definitely played worse on the stream. The last game was much worse than this one. Um, okay, last time. Please be over with us. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. <laughs> That's way better. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sleep with me and, you know, be unfaithful to your wife and all this bad stuff. I just fix my oven, you know. Like it's the same thing. Yeah, Georgie's like, don't do it, Dad. Don't do it. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. Well, see, that's... God, what... how I hated those days. Perfect, as he knows these ovens. He says he used to maintain them. So this should be a piece of cake for him to fix it, right? Let's go ahead and save it before I kill ourselves. We don't have any tools, though. Hopefully we don't need anything. Ah, oh, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. Bun done. Nice. Way better than <laughs> cheating on our lover, right? I fixed your oven. Give me the mirror. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry. I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now I can finish dinner. How dare you, maid? I don't know your name. You're just made. You almost tried to get us to sleep with you and you didn't even know you were just... Whatever. <laughs> you used me. Why, you used me, you bitch. Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. How did I try to use you? <laughs> <laughs> was that line of dialogue if we slept with her? <laughs> you came on to me, woman. I do not understand your logic. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> exactly, Lauren. She, she'd be crazy. She'd be crazy. Peak peasant energy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my lord, this game. And right after, like, telling me she has no idea where it is, then she immediately says, I know where it is. I know who has it. She can't give it to us, but at least she gave us a hint. We have to find the old lady. The door's locked. Who apparently doesn't like mirrors, so why does she have a mirror? This is a weird creation of Ams, so I guess we're not... Nothing's supposed to make sense, right? 
Okay, was there anything else in here I'm missing? Or I guess she doesn't know how, where the old lady just knows where it is. That's right. And she's gonna find us. We can apologize. Oh, crap, that's the only thing I can do. I'm scared this is gonna end with us sleeping with her. Listen, I'm sorry. Don't bother me anymore. I've got to get back to fixing dinner. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to say that before because I didn't want to run that back. Yeah, I think that's everything here. This oven is working as well as it's ever going to. Anything else we can do with the oven? This oven is... Can we use it to, like, do something with our glass? I don't know what to do. No. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. Cool. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Crap, that's us. <laughs> so one thing, once they get a hold of us, they can open up that gate to the other world. We just want your mirror, lady. Okay, let's make a new save. 36, there we go. <laughs> exactly elegant, right? Oh, it's so funny. Now, where did they go? That whole line of dialogue kind of reminded me a little bit of like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Just the ridiculous circles. They... Oh. What's this now? It's the devil. <laughs> Look what he's wearing. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? I love this so much. Hail Satan! <laughs> Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. <laughs> right, Bill? A little bit. I can see that. A little bit like a pimp. <laughs> he goes by Deville. So proper. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. That one's going to be important. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to use that devil. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. That's weird that the devil would hate demons. You think they'd all be on the same side? How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here, or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? It's oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. I mean, it's kind of funny how, like, you know, when you're in high school and you got all this stupid drama, you get out of high school, you think you're never going to have to deal with that again. Some people never grow up. You know, you're in your, your jobs, in college or whatever, and people still sometimes have that same mindset. You never get out of those same stupid problems. Or you just avoid those people. That might be the best choice. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. So you're saying maybe that's not... Ellen? Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. 
If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. <laughs> the holy eunuchs. Well, I like that idea. Let's let the angels take her if she's got to go. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Oh, dang. I haven't watched Supernatural, but that's super interesting how they describe that. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. How can you sleep with the devil right there waiting to take your soul? What we need is uh, a fiddle. And we can duel the devil or her soul. How about that? Fifteen seasons. It's all done now, isn't it, Tasha? I think they ended up wrapping it up. Yeah, and it's I, I see that a lot. Like a lot of shows, movies, books, and stuff, they use like commonly known lore, but they'll often twist it around a little bit, like the gen generally accepted mythos to kind of make it fun or work for the story better. Alrighty, well, I think we still have a little bit more, but we're probably over halfway done with this chapter. But this is probably a good stopping point now that we just met a bunch of new characters and have some new stuff to figure out to help Ellen out. We might not be saving her, but maybe we can get the angels to take her soul instead of the devil. And uh, then after that, we've completed all five of the character stories. There's still the ending as far as how they all have to like band together to actually work against Am. So we have to do that as well. So let's go ahead and save it here. Let's overwrite that. And there's probably a perfect stopping point. What a great game. How are you guys liking this so 